While the project applauds efforts to provide poverty relief, that is not its goal. We seek to eliminate the need for poverty relief and lift up those who are implementing solutions that move individuals and families out of poverty permanently. And I said, something's really wrong in America when you can have this much tragedy and this much pain and we're not reaching out to each other. Common pain should lead to common purpose. I think that we collectively, I know at Goodwill, we really believe that we want to kind of get rid of the mythology that in America, people lift themselves up by their bootstraps all by themselves. We know that two thirds of folks that are low income don't have their high school diploma. We know a lot about the situation. We know a lot about it in Indiana. We know a lot about it across the country. And I think we have to understand nobody does this alone. And we have to join together. I think it's, it's important for a community to try to give young people and families an education on an education. Because the reality is you have thousands of young people going through doors and have no clue about what an education is. These children are now children of parents who have completed their education, have confidence, are moving into the workforce, and are on that economic ladder. We are trying to say to our young people, we are cultivating character, empowering youth, and enriching community, with the message being that if you actually are, first of all, developed in these five principles, you become empowered. And through that empowerment, you actually develop assets. And through the building of these assets, then you actually begin to enrich the places where you show up. And because you represent riches and wealth or capital, now you become a class of the desirable. So it's no longer a situation where your presence means negativity. It's now a situation where your presence is actually coveted. Because it takes liberal activist social programs to create that ladder, and yet at the same time, it takes pretty conservative, traditional, personal values to climb that ladder. You gotta work hard, you gotta study hard. Once you explain to young people that they can, uh, that these things can be used as, 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 as tools and not just toys, you have a totally different conversation. And because you have a growing tech sector here uh, in this city, it is a tremendous opportunity. You know, the way you fight poverty, if you really wanna fight poverty, you got to look at these poor communities that are struggling uh, here in your city as huge sinks of genius, huge sinks of talent. That's the way that you fight poverty. It's not about looking at the deficit. It's about looking at the under-leveraged asset. These kids are brilliant. You know, sometimes it just takes one person to touch you and tell you that you matter. And, and you can't heal it all with that, but you can heal a bunch of it and get you in a positive direction. My mentor said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. So just because you can't do everything doesn't mean you shouldn't do something. And you might not be able to build uh, 12 houses over in 46218 and 12 houses over in Fort au Prince, but you can come alongside somebody and, and help somebody who's struggling or help a single parent that's trying to, to regroup and get it together, or somebody's been through a divorce, or, or, or you, you might not be able to pay somebody's total tuition, but even if you bought their books uh, when they went to college. So there are things you can do uh, as a body of Christ, as a local body of believers. We should be knocking down the doors of the church going to Sunday school. We have to keep trying to address that spirit and get that education and put in the right systems because the poor aren't going anywhere. Let's get to work. Thank you.